the Norwegian Research Group of the Institute of Marine Research, which included Russian representatives from the Federal Service for Hydrometeorology, recorded a radiation background norm near the sunken nuclear submarine Komsomolets in the Norwegian Sea in 100,000 times, and in the area of the ventilation pipe of the reactor compartment in 800,000 times. So far, it does not pose a threat, the report said, but the submarine lying on the bottom requires constant monitoring. The media made headlines, stirring up interest in the topic of Arctic pollution. Let's try to find out if there is a lot of radioactive waste in the waters of the Kara and the Barents Seas and what its threat is. For Russia such stories are a never-ending headache. Everyone who claims rights to the Arctic riches closely monitors the environmental situation in the region and uses it for attacks, conflicts and maintaining the necessary degree of tension. The Soviet past says, many claims of environmentalists are well-founded. From the mid-1960s to the late 1980s the USSR buried more than 17,000 objects with spent nuclear fuel in the waters of the Barents and Kara Seas. There are also the remains of three submarines buried in the Arctic Ocean. Survey of the Komsomolets nuclear submarine in 2019. Russia often has nothing to object to, except to point out that it is not alone in having such burial sites. Twelve other countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Belgium, Japan, and New Zealand, have dumped radioactive waste, RW, in 47 areas of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Like the USSR, it was mostly spent fuel from nuclear power plants. Such practices stopped only in 1993 when the parties to the London Convention for the Protection of the Seas from Pollution adopted a ban on the disposal of raw near the marine environment. Waste disposal can cost enormous sums, and the country has more pressing problems to spend budgets on. Even the most recent expeditions of Kurchatov Institute staff to nuclear burial sites in 2012 were funded by the Ministry of Emergency Situations. Deadly Treasure Trove According to this and past studies conducted in 2003 to 2007, Russia has an asset of 14 burial sites. In six of them scientists estimate only the approximate volume of submerged waste. The total area of such nuclear dumps is 203,000 square meters. For comparison, the garbage at the well-known dump Udrobo near Moscow occupy 16 hectares or 160,000 square meters. At the same time there are different wastes at the dump, and only radioactive fuel is in the sea. The sunken submarine Komsomolets, on which Norwegian scientists have now discovered radiation leaks, is not the only nuclear dump in the Arctic. Used nuclear reactors are also stored in seawaters. Mainly they are engines of used submarines and ships. The first such reactors, six, were sunk in the Abrasimov Bay in 1965-66. In the Kara Sea in 1972 one of the reactors was loaded on a barge and sunk together with it. Two more reactors have been lying in Stepovoy Bay since 1981, one of them a prototype with a liquid metal coolant. Apparently, Soviet scientists ran it on stands, but for some reason they refused to install it on a real boat and soon disposed of it. Its remains lie just 50 meters from the surface of the water. The last two reactors from the submarines were sunk in Current Bay in 1988. Worn-out containers for transporting radioactive elements, as well as three reactors from the nuclear icebreaker Lenin Rest in Savolki Bay. It was the first icebreaker with a nuclear unit. In 1965 the ship allowed the reactor core to dehydrate and the walls melted. The damaged reactor parts were unloaded and immediately lowered into the water on the pressurized ship. A year later the reactor itself was scrapped there. Another dramatic story happened to this icebreaker, in 1967 the cooling system leaked, which they hastily tried to fix with jackhammers to prevent radioactive waste from spilling out. As a result of this harsh procedure, the reactor became inoperable. They decided to cut it out of the Lenin's hull as a whole and submerge it along with 3,500 tons of radioactive waste. In the basin of the Krulov Central Research Institute in Leningrad, they made a model of the ship in order to understand how to properly install the charges. The engine was torn out by the explosions along with the bottom, which was successfully welded. The icebreaker was towed to the dock to have two reactors instead of one. Later, the reactor was replaced once more, but normally, the engine was also disposed of at sea. 
All in all, there are 14 reactors on the ocean floor. The Kurchatov Institute has praised the robustness of the pressurized tanks used by the Soviet Union to bury waste. The probability of a leak is minimal for the next hundreds of years. The only problem is that not all burial sites are mapped, some burial sites only have documents on their disposal, but no coordinates, so it is impossible to find out their condition. Mikhail Flint, deputy director of the Institute of Oceanology of the Russian Academy of Sciences, believes that this may become a problem in the future. We took samples, the sediments revealed only slight excesses in relation to the background level of radioactivity in the bottom part of the Kara Sea. The facts give confidence to say that the burials were made with a high degree of robustness. The changing climate points to another angle of the problem. Radiation burials can be disturbed not only by natural forces, but also as a result of anthropogenic activity. Let us imagine that the Kara Sea is freed from ice under the influence of global warming, and people rush to develop supergiant deposits of hydrocarbons. It is necessary to have an exact data on the areas, which are to be tabooed. According to the unofficial data, the reserves of deposits near the burial grounds are 3-5 trillion cubic meters of gas and gas condensate. This is one of the raw materials safety cushions of the country. Once again, the economy is against ecology. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.